guys, I'm Zaki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to design input steppers and also how to add the interaction for in the component states on Adobe XD for the input steppers. Let's start today's tutorial. Let's drag this text tool onto the artboard. We have to give one to five values on the artboard. Perfect. Let's give a line height of 110 in between the numbers cool let's align this horizontally to the artboard drag a rectangle onto the artboard and give a width of 180 by 80 so it's a customizable uh, input steppers not a default sizes so you have to follow uh, the guidelines of uh, for designing the steppers, but here I'm showing how to uh, make the component interaction. So let's align it. Perfect. Let's remove the border of the rectangle. So here I'm going to duplicate this by Control D on your Windows and Command D on your Mac. Let's bring this rectangle in front of the number. Cool. Now select the value sign the rectangle. Right click on it. You'll find mask with shape. You have to mask members with the shape perfect here now we have to add the plus and minus uh, to add number and also delete the number let's do that so before that we have to add uh, zero before one let's add zero cool perfect and let's drag this circle here so I'll give the width and height of 80 px perfect let's remove this border little bit more towards the rectangle by 40 px right and left of the rectangle cool so here we have to drag the line tool and give a width of, of 40 and also height to 3 px perfect and size uh, let's make a rounded corners perfect let's align its center of the circle so copy this or else you can duplicate the circle by control D let's delete the second circle and drag this towards right let's maintain a 40 px of space in between the rectangle and the circle here we are going to duplicate this minus and we'll add 90 degrees for the line perfect now uh, our basic uh, structure of the input steppers is ready so here we have to add the interaction up so before that let's add a disabled state of the minus perfect let me add this color to my color palette and I'll give this plus color to fully black to get an active state let's group this plus as well as the minus with the values now on the right side you'll find the components let's click here so now which we are seeing on artboard it's a default state we have to add a five stages when we click on the plus or minus it has to interact with it so let's do that go to new state so we'll add as a state one so in state one it will be till it change to one instead of zero so by clicking the up arrow on your keyboard you will you can move this numbers to the top cool and uh, let's add the other state like it will be a second state so in the second state my number will change to two so we have to add till 5 perfect let's go and add other state state 3 perfect let's move this number so you can you can add it till 10 or 20 if you want to add it's up to you 
and press add state for perfect so for showing an example I have added the five values here so you can see uh, how things are going here so we have another state which is a large state five so in this state uh, our minus will become in, uh, will turn into active and our plus will uh, get into a disabled state uh, let's add this black color here in the fifth state our minus will active it's your active state and uh, the minus two disabled state so if someone uh, wants to get back so they can click on minus so let's go to state 4 so in state 4 uh, we have to activate the both plus and minus the user can add it or else he can also disable it so let's go to state 3 activate the minus to fully black color go to state 2 and also active this minus and let's go to state 1 as well let's make it black perfect so now uh, you can see we have uh, five different uh, states so how the number is being changed right so you can also be, uh, see the active state as well so the default state there is a minus and when you click on one plus you will get the one so for this we have to add the interaction of for the components get let's go to prototype here so let's go to default state so in default state i am going to click on these plus let's add the interaction here so click on this plus and you will find that trigger to tap and my action to auto animate and my destination to state one perfect and my easing to snap and i want a little bit slow in transition so I'll make it 0 0.6 seconds let's uh, go to state 1 so again I can click on state 1 I have to add interaction here uh, the same uh, action and in interaction trigger will be tab and auto animate let's change the destination to uh, state 2 perfect and uh, when I click on plus so sorry minus the destination will go to a default state it adds minus so let me add this interaction for uh, every state perfect let me click here it has to go to the third screen uh, which is state 3 and when I click on the minus it has to go to the destination to state 1 uh, let's go to state 3 uh, add interaction type Go to state 4 and our minus uh, will go to destination 2. Let's go to this state 4. So we have to add till 5. So it's take time. Let's go to 5. Destination 5. When I click here, it chooses destination to 3. Perfect. So we have to go to state 5, click on the interaction type and there is no plus right, for the plus there is no interaction, for the minus we will have the interaction, let's add it, so it's it goes to uh, state 4 and uh, perfect. Let's check the prototype here, How let's check the interaction, how it works, let's align this box into the center, perfect. So click on the right side play icon to preview the prototype. So let's click on minus here. We'll go to zero first, the default state. So let's start from zero. I'm going to add one item. So you can see how beautiful the transition is moving when I'm clicking on a plus. And you can see when I get into fifth item, my plus icon is getting a disabled state. When I click on plus, it's activating on the right side add button for the items so this is how the input steppers the component state works in our if you find more informative in this tutorial please do like this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching